The pools are open and families are heading to the water to beat the heat in the summer. And uh, but if you're uh, are you doing everything you can to keep your kids safe? Our Kimberly Gill is here with an eye opening report on a layer of protection you may not have considered. Kimberly. Yeah, hi guys. You know, I talk about my son a lot, Basil. He's three years old. He's been taking swimming lessons since he was about 18 months old or so. And that's something that experts say that you need to do to keep your kids safe around the water. Of course, adult supervision is something else that helps. Um, but there's something else that maybe you didn't think of that can also help them to stay safe, especially if they're struggling in the water. And it has to do with the color of their swimsuit. When it comes to picking out your child's swimsuit, color may not be the top concern, but it should be. The color of the suit is important. It really is, it's just visibility. Gary Hopp is the Eastern District Superintendent for the Metro Parks. We met up with him at the Lake St. Clair Metro Park in Harrison Township, where you can jump in the lake, cool off at the splash pad, or take a plunge in the pool. The colors do make a big difference. The color of the shirt you're wearing would be much more visible in the water than what I'm wearing right now. Hop says there's a reason construction workers wear bright colors. It's all about being able to see that person from a distance. That's the same thing you need to think about when you're purchasing swimming suits for your children. It makes it easier to notice the person if they happen to be in distress. Uh, that Those colors just kind of draw the eye naturally. How much difference does it make? Well, take a look at this study conducted by Alive Solutions. It shows how visible each suit color is underwater when the surface is still or churned up. This study found the most visible colors were neon orange and neon pink. The least visible were white and light blue. They basically disappear in the pool. To test it out for ourselves, we gathered a group of kids in different colored suits. Check out the four boys. Watch how quickly Daniel's white swim shirt blends in with the water. Comparing white and orange side by side, Will's orange was the obvious winner. While Dylan and Neil were visible in navy and black, experts say dark colors are not the safest choice because they can look like shadows or debris on the bottom of the pool. With the girls, Parker's neon pink definitely popped from a distance. We also looked at pastel patterns, a popular choice for swimsuits. Even up close in just a few feet of water, look at how practically invisible Addie is on the right compared to Mia on the left. We saw the same issue with Avery's pastel swim trunks. They easily blend with the water. Dara Basil's twin sons, Daniel and Dylan, were part of our test. I had them in swim lessons very early on because I wanted to make sure that they were safe and comfortable in the water. She noticed an immediate difference with their swim shirts. I can actually tell the navy blue a lot better than the white. Something she'll remember when it's time for new suits. We'll be looking for brighter colors. It's not, I would not go so much with the white. LaShonda Walker is mom to Parker and Avery. While Parker prefers pastels, the neon pink was certainly a hit with mom. I thought it was absolutely great. And then once she was swimming, I was able to concentrate right there to make sure she was OK and safe. Alive Solutions also tested various colors in 18 inches of lake water. The top colors were neon yellow, neon green, and neon orange. All the other colors quickly disappeared. But remember, this is the visibility in a mere 18 inches of water, a clear example of why life jackets are so important on our lakes. As you prepare for a fun summer ahead, take a moment to consider how visible your child would be if they did get into trouble in the water. In the end, this grandmother summed it up best. The brighter, the better. That's right. Yes, that's right. The brighter, the better is the moral of this story. Um, you know, and it can just make it so much easier to even supervise your child when they've got that bright uh, neon swim shirt on. So it's very important. Uh, it's a it's a great story, I thought, and I wanted to bring it to all of you because when I found out, you know, I just I never really even paid attention to the color of swimsuit that uh, I chose for basil, but I certainly do now. If you'd like to see more of the testing and how those colors uh, did in the test, you can go to our website. Click on Detroit.com. Back to you, Pam. I love it, too. Right. It was really valuable information. And Kim, I know this issue of water safety is really important to you. Tell us about it. 
Yeah, you're, you're right. You know, my dad, he was an excellent swimmer. Um, it was a lifelong passion for him. And I want Basil to be an excellent swimmer as <laughs> well. And, and it's something that he can enjoy for the rest of his life. But, you know, um, statistics show that a lot of kids are not learning how to swim, especially when it comes to African-American kids. Um, and the CDC says one in six uh, kids uh, are more likely to, uh, black kids are more likely to uh, drown in the water than their white counterparts. So, you know, cert certainly I don't want my son to be a statistic. So that's why I spend the time and investment in trying to get him swim lessons. And uh, I bring you this story. So hopefully you can do all the things to keep your kids safe as well. All right. Thank you, Kim. Absolutely. We appreciate that.